On December 20th, 22, when the final Boeing 747 rolled off the production line, it seemed that the era of the Queen of the Skies had come to an end. This event left everyone with a feeling of nostalgia and regret. But is that really the end? We've heard a lot about the revival of the A380, so what happened if the 747 were to be resurrected with a completely new look? Could it shape the aviation industry as it once did? Let's find out. In the late 1960s, Pan American World Airways, under the leadership of the legendary CEO Juan Tripp, was ready to reshape the skies. At the time, intercontinental travel remained a privilege of the elite, with only a select few able to afford these luxurious journeys. As demand for air travel surged, airlines struggled to expand their services, while aircraft manufacturers lagged in innovation. Seeing an opportunity to revolutionize the aviation industry, Tripp envisioned a machine capable of carrying hundreds of passengers across oceans without driving costs too high. He needed an aircraft that was not only larger, but also powerful, efficient, and capable of redefining global travel. Boeing brought this vision to life with the 747, a colossal engineering marvel boasting unprecedented speed, power, and scale. Not only was the 747 the largest commercial aircraft ever built at the time, but it was also one of the fastest. Recognizing its game-changing potential, Pan Am immediately placed an order for 25 aircraft valued at a staggering $525 million, equivalent to approximately $3.28 billion today. This was also the largest commercial aircraft order in aviation history at the time. After that, on February 9, 1969, the world witnessed a historic moment as the Boeing 747 took its first flight, marking the beginning of an ambitious testing program. Its pioneering engine, the Pratt & Whitney JT-9D, was a technological breakthrough but came with numerous operational challenges in its early days. Yet, overcoming every obstacle, the Queen quickly became an aviation icon, the backbone of the world's largest international airlines. Over the decades, continuous advancements increased its payload, extended its range, and introduced numerous variants tailored to market demands. From carrying millions of passengers across vast oceans to performing missions far beyond its original design, this jumbo jet demonstrated unmatched versatility. It was the symbol of an era, a testament to humanity's relentless ambition to reach further. However, aviation more and more changed, and the colossal four-engine giant gradually disappeared from commercial routes. Many see it as a fading legend, a relic of the past. But why did the 747's era end? Wait a second, you're still here? That's awesome. We're on a journey to reach 50,000 subscribers, and you can be a part of it. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time. Hit that button, and let's reach this milestone together. A huge thank you for the support. There was a time when four engines were the gold standard for long-haul flights. But in 1972, a major turning point arrived with the debut of the Airbus A300, the world's first twin-engine wide-body aircraft. This wasn't just a new design. It was a challenge to the long-standing belief that more engines meant greater safety for crossing oceans and remote regions. Initially, the A300 wasn't designed for long-haul routes, it was developed to serve domestic and regional flights within Europe. However, as technology advanced, later variants like the A300B4 extended its range, allowing it to push beyond its original limits. This marked the beginning of a revolution, one where twin-engine aircraft gradually took over the skies, ushering in a new era of aviation. Recognizing the shift in aviation trends, the U.S. aircraft maker entered the race with the launch of the Boeing 767. Introduced in 1981, the 767 marked the beginning of a new era for twin-engine wide-body aircraft, thanks to advancements in fuel efficiency and long-haul capabilities under the ETOPS Extended Range Twin-Engine Operational Performance Standards certification. It became the first aircraft to receive ETOPS 120 approval in 1985, allowing flights up to 120 minutes from an alternate airport, and later achieved ETOPS 180, significantly expanding transoceanic routes. However, the A300 was not as effective for oceanic routes as the 767 would later prove to be. Therefore, if one considers the first twin-engine widebody aircraft, the Airbus A300 holds the title. But if the focus is on the first twin-engine widebody, capable of efficiently operating transoceanic flights, the Boeing 767 takes the lead thanks to ETOPS. Then, in 1995, Boeing unleashed the legendary 777. 
Engineered for long-haul dominance, the 777 pushed the boundaries of twin-engine performance with cutting-edge technology, ensuring it could fly safely even if one engine failed. But what truly set it apart was its range, an astonishing 8,555 nautical miles on a single fuel load, nearly 1,000 nautical miles farther than the iconic 747-400, all while sipping fuel at a much lower rate. The U.S. manufacturer didn't stop there. In 2011, it introduced the revolutionary 787 Dreamliner, a twin-engine marvel designed to maximize fuel efficiency and redefine the future of long-haul travel. To this day, the Boeing 777 remains the most successful twin-engine wide-body aircraft in the world. The rise of twin-engine aircraft marked the end of the era for colossal four-engine giants like the Boeing 747. Airlines gradually realized that twin-engine jets were not only more fuel-efficient, but also significantly reduced maintenance costs, optimized operations, and delivered higher profitability. Models like the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350 quickly dominated the skies, pushing the 747 into decline. The high operating costs of the jumbo jet, compared to more efficient alternatives, led many airlines to retire the iconic aircraft. In Europe, British Airways and Lufthansa gradually replaced their queen with Airbus A350s and Boeing 787s, while in the US, Delta Airlines and United Airlines were the last major carriers to operate the aircraft before retiring it in 2017. Today, only a handful of airlines still fly the legendary jet, including Lufthansa, Korean Air, Air China, and Russia's Russia Airlines. Then, in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic delivered a final crushing blow to the aviation industry, causing travel demand to plummet. Many airlines were forced to retire this jumbo jet earlier than planned, accelerating the downfall of this legendary aircraft. And that is why the golden age of the Boeing 747 has faded into history. The Boeing 747 has ceased production, but has its era truly ended? Aviation history has seen once outdated designs revive to meet new demands. What if this Boeing aircraft could return in a completely new form? Originally powered by the Pratt and Whitney JT-9D, later replaced by the General Electric CF-6 and Rolls-Royce RB211, the 747's iconic design, with its raised cockpit and partial double-deck configuration, made it an ideal candidate for cargo conversion, thanks to its distinctive nose-cargo door. The U.S. manufacturer once believed that supersonic aircraft would quickly replace this jumbo jet, yet the opposite happened. It not only endured, but became an icon. A twin-engine Boeing 74 the 7th of May sound far-fetched, but modern technology could make it a reality. With next-generation engines like the GE9X or Rolls-Royce Ultrafan, a reimagined queen could achieve performance levels on par with or even surpass today's aircraft. Its wide-body fuselage would remain a major advantage for both passenger and cargo transport on long-haul routes. What do you think? If the 747 had a chance to return, which engine would be the best fit? Comment 1. If you choose the GE9X, and comment 2 if you believe in the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. However, reviving the Boeing Jumbo Jet as a twin-engine aircraft would face major challenges in design, development costs, and market demand. From a design and aerodynamics perspective, this aircraft was optimized for a four-engine configuration, with wings specifically shaped and sized to distribute thrust across four separate engines. Switching to two engines would require a complete redesign of the wings to maintain lift and aerodynamic efficiency, potentially leading to a wider wingspan or structural changes to the fuselage. These modifications could significantly impact operational capabilities while also increasing weight and fuel consumption. Beyond design challenges, development costs pose a major obstacle. Converting a four-engine aircraft into a twin-engine model would require extensive research and testing, almost equivalent to developing an entirely new aircraft. This would translate into an investment of tens of billions of dollars with uncertain economic returns, especially in a market that increasingly favors existing twin-engine long-haul aircraft like the Boeing 787, 777X, and Airbus A350. Airlines today prioritize aircraft that are fuel-efficient, cost-effective to operate, and flexible in deployment. Large aircraft like the 747 have been replaced by modern twin-engine jets that can handle long-haul routes more efficiently. Even if a twin-engine version of this jumbo jet were developed, few airlines would be willing to place orders, making the project highly risky and impractical. 
For instance, the A380, despite Emirates' strong demand for continued production, has not convinced Airbus to take the financial gamble. However, in the distant future, if engine and aerospace material technology continues to evolve, it's not impossible that Boeing, or another manufacturer, might resurrect the 747's design in an entirely new form. Could we one day witness a 747 MAX with only two engines, yet still maintaining the majesty and prestige of the Queen of the Skies? More than five decades of glory, the Boeing 747 is a symbol of innovation, ambition, and a world without borders. For decades, this legendary jumbo jet has carried millions of people across oceans, linking cities half a world apart and shrinking distances once thought impossible. It has not only redefined commercial aviation, but has also left a profound impact on the global economy, industry, and even humanitarian missions, saving countless lives in ways that few other aircraft ever could. Its grandeur and elegance turn every journey into an unforgettable experience. With its distinctive hump and unique upper deck, the Boeing 747 stands out with its unique characteristics and is an icon in the skies. Capable of carrying over 500 passengers across vast distances, this Boeing jumbo jet pioneered a new era of global travel and commerce like never before. What do you think about the possibility of Reborn the Queen? Share your thoughts with us. As always, thanks for watching. Wish you safe and enjoyable flights.